Not really the return we were looking for yesterday. However, new day, and that means new opportunities to win. What's going on, everybody? It is Brian Power back with the Power 5 for Friday, August 2nd. Today, I've got four football futures for you, plus an exclusive MLB play I won't be giving out anywhere else. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me here or just want to show support for the show. Now, let's get the Power 5 rolling Number one, Bengals to win the NFC North, plus 140. Every season, seems as if one NFL team goes from worst to first in its division for 2024. I believe the leading candidate to do so is Cincinnati. 2023 was obviously a really disappointing season for the Bengals, but that had a lot to do with quarterback Joe Burrow not being healthy, obviously. When Burrow was at full strength, his team went 4-1 and one straight up last year. Burrow, by all accounts, is back at 100% health, and thus, that should mean a return to glory for the Bengals. This is a team that's going to face a much easier schedule than last year when they ended up facing the league's most challenging schedule. This year, they're set to be favored in 14 of their 17 games. They face all of the bottom seven teams in my power ratings. The first six weeks of the season, the teams they will face went to combine 16 and 52 straight up last year. Last 29 non-division games, how have the Bengals done? How about 23 and 6 straight up and 22, 5 and 2 against the spread? Defensively, they should be better at the back end. Off on the offensive side, the line should be better able to protect Burrow thanks to some free agent signings. Now I know the NFC or the pardon me, the AFC North is tough. But I prefer betting the Bengals to win the division at plus 140. And that's down from plus 170. Oh, by the way, uh, I prefer that particular bet instead of betting them over their season win total of 10 and a half, which is juiced at minus 140. There's always the possibility, guys, Cincinnati could win this division at 10 wins. Regardless, they are my pick to win the division. Speaks volumes that they're now the betting favorite to do so. I've got the Bengals power rated as a top five team coming in into the year number two Tampa Bay under seven and a half wins plus 125 love this one now if you recall last year around this time I went on wager talk today and told Prez and Teddy that the Bucks were a team I would be looking to back on a week-to-week -week basis provided they were underdogs sure enough part of a 3-0 sweep in week one for yours truly was Tampa outright over Minnesota I also backed the Bucks in their shocking playoff win over the Eagles last January this year, however, it's going to be a different story, uh, my approach. Quarterback Baker Mayfield, I think he's set to turn into a pumpkin after his breakout season. Dave Canales, the offensive coordinator that was instrumental in Mayfield's resurgence last year, he's moved on to division rival Carolina. If you caught yesterday's edition of the Power Five, then you know I like the Panthers to go over five and a half wins. Betting the Bucks under seven and a half wins, somewhat correlated. Uh, digging into the X's and O's a bit, this was a Bucks offense that did not have a lot of success on early downs last year, especially when it came to running the ball. Yet they ended up being very good on third down. That's a difficult dichotomy to repeat year over year. I think this defense takes a step back as well. Last year, this Bucks team, underrated. Not in 2024, and a first-place schedule won't help. Under 7.5 wins for Tampa Bay. Now, if you're as excited as I am about football season, be sure to take advantage of this buy two months, get August free special we've currently got going on at wagertalk.com. Unbelievable value where you get three months of service for the price of two. So if you buy right now, you're covered all the way through the end of October. What do you get? How about the entire NFL preseason? The first two months of the NFL regular season? The first two months of college football? Oh, by the way, I've got some college football futures coming up in just a minute. The rest of the MLB season. And don't forget, with me, you get a little soccer as well. What a run we are on on the pitch, 33-14 and 14 after the Euro Cup and Copa America. Can't wait for the Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, and Serie A to get going here in a couple weeks. So head on over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp, to take advantage and get three months for the price of two. All right, back to the Power Five. Number three, Hawaii over Five wins at minus 130. Got to lay some juice for this one, guys. But lots of signs pointing up uh, on the island. Year three under Timmy Chang. Third year, often when a coach starts to make his mark on a program, and in the case of Chang and his alma mater, 
I like what I'm seeing here. It's definitely Chang's best team since coming to Honolulu. Only three Mountain West road games on the schedule. This is a team, obviously, that has a typical, uh, typically has a strong home field advantage. The travel involved getting out to the island. Plus, the Warriors, they should have better turnover luck this year. And the defense should be more efficient overall. Hawaii last year, last two years, pardon me, they pulled off five upset wins. So they're kind of live as a dog. Bows up. Look for Hawaii to go bowling in 2024. Hawaii over five wins. Four here in the Power Five for today is Indiana over five and a half wins. So a couple overs here in college football. This is minus 125. Lots of hype coming out of Bloomington with the Hoosiers. The higher head coach, Kurt Signetti, who was previously the architect of James Madison. 13 winning seasons in 13 years as a head coach. This is a very experienced team, and I love the addition of former Ohio U Bobcat Curtis Work at quarterback. Two of the Hoosiers' four Big Ten road games this year, guys, are against Northwestern and Michigan State, who I've got power rated as the two weakest teams in the entire conference, and now an 18-team conference. Oh, by the way, I like Indiana over five and a half wins at minus 125. All right, let's finish up the power five. Number five, time for your exclusive MLB selection. Feel free to comment down below with your favorite Major League Baseball bet here for Friday. But I'm going to tell you to take the Cleveland Guardians over their team total of four and a half plus 110. Look, Guardians put up 10 runs last night's victory over the Orioles. This could end up being a pretty key series. Oh, by the way, in terms of defending, uh, or pardon me, determining home field advantage in the American League playoffs. And you talk about home field advantage. The Guardians are now 34-15 and 15 at progressive field this season. They average 4.84 runs per game here, and today they're against Dean Kramer. Dean Kramer, career ERA of 6.23 against Cleveland in three starts. Kramer's not in good form at the moment. Threw a se uh, season high, 105 pitches last time out. He's allowed four or more runs in four of his last seven starts. I think the guards get to him. The bullpen can be an adventure at the back end for the O's as well. Regardless of how they get there, look for Cleveland to go over their team total of four and a half on Friday. That does it for the Power Five for August 2nd. Here's your recap. Bengals to win the NFC North plus 142. Tampa Bay under seven and a half wins plus 125. Three, Hawaii over five wins minus 130. Four, Indiana over five and a half wins minus 125. And number five, Cleveland Guardians over their team total of four and a half. Let me know what you think of today's Power Five by commenting down below. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you are already not subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, what exactly are you waiting for? You can always check out the Morning Wager every Monday through Friday with myself and Mark Zeno, a very popular program, I may add. And head on over to wt.buzz slash bp for all of today's best Bets. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.